Yes, Stephen Stacy, it really did. This crash scene spans the length of a football field. Damage like this is spread out through the entire block here, and it looks like a tornado ripped through these holes. Uh, it sounded like a great big huge rumbling thunder. A quiet Sunday morning turned into chaos when street racers crashed on East 14th Street. My son hollered, oh my God. And I said, what's wrong? And he said, there's a car rolling down the street. There's a bad accident. Donna Ludlow's window is busted. Her deck is destroyed and her house is covered in oil. If only these shoes she picked up near her yard could talk. The other shoe just like that was found four houses down. Four houses down, Sergio Hernandez is assessing the damage. That's going to be the most costly. One car came to rest in this yard. The other was close by on the curb. Both drivers ditched their cars and left the scene. No, it didn't have to happen. And I'm glad nobody got hurt. Somebody could have been killed. This house isn't just a home. It's a nonprofit helping homeless people get back on their feet. With donations on a downward trend, paying this deductible is not ideal. It's another expense that we didn't plan for. As these neighbors pick up car parts, shingles, and tree limbs, they hope those responsible are held accountable. It would be nice if they take responsibility for their actions. When they catch them, they need to punish them because they're not using their head. And Des Moines police believe that the street racers may have had assistance in getting away from the crash. Witnesses, neighbors here tell police and me that other cars came up and helped the street racers get away from the scene. But leaving a car there, that's a big piece of evidence to leave behind. Des Moines police are confident they're closing in on making arrests.